Reading I Ching The Wanderer Composition of Hexagram Fire is located above the mountain. One may think of it as a wildfire, and it may also be seen as the sun rising above the mountain. The fire and the mountain are common, in that both have tendency to move upward, the flame of fire reaches out toward the sky, and the mountain rises high above. However, both of them are restricted in their movement, in that the mountain is a fixed entity that does not actually move, and that the fire can only move along the ridge of the mountain where there are wood that it can burn. The fire that started in the mountain, will grow bigger by burning down the mountains. However, as long as the fire depend on the mountain, it cannot move any higher than it. After everything on the mountain is exhausted, the fire will not have anything more to burn and will diminish. In order to move toward a truly high place, fire must learn to move forward with its own strength without depending on the power of the mountain. Just like a sun rising up above a mountain does. Overall meaning Fire is a bright and powerful force, but it also represents the power to burn and destroy. The fire that started to grow bigger and stronger during the course of the hexagram of abundance, cannot simply stay fixed like a mountain. In order to keep the flame burning, the fire needs to keep moving, so that it can find what it can burn away. The fire that does not move and burns in one place will gradually weaken. Likewise, if the passion burning in your mind does not make meaningful progress continually, it will gradually diminish as time goes on, and disappear eventually. Therefore, this hexagram illustrates that you need to keep on moving, unlike hexagram number 52, the keeping still mountain. However, constant movement does not necessarily mean, that there is no need for a central foundation. Fire cannot exist on its own. It grows by burning and changing other substances. Therefore, this hexagram symbolizes the balance and harmony, between incessant movement and its foundation. It needs to move endlessly, without being completely separated from its root. Such an aspect is also evident in the composition of lines, where three lines of yin and three lines of yang are alternating. At the first step, two lines of yin lay foundations for growth, and then two lines of yang develops its way upon the basis. After that, another line of yin creates a new foundation, and finally a line of yang sprints forward again. It seems that this hexagram shows that we should not simply keep on moving forward alone, we need to alternate between taking enough rest and moving forward in an appropriate balance, in order to go on a long journey. Therefore. If you have come across this hexagram, you may need to consider what you should do, in order to keep the proper balance between recharging yourself by having some relaxation, and developing yourself by moving forward.